Listeners and subscribers, hope all is well. California Carter coming at you again with some more content. So while my wife is out of state right now, she's actually visiting our home state, California. Interestingly enough, I know. Um, she sent me a couple of videos while she was over there that is pretty interesting. She she likes to keep up with some of the stuff that I do. She'll send me occasional videos of chemtrails if she catches some, uh, some of the homelessness issues, anything that really falls on uh, falls in line with some of my research and what I talk about here on this channel. She'll shoot me some stuff and try to help me out with my content. So let's go ahead and, and play some of that. If you don't know anything about chemtrails, I recommend you go back and check out on my channel where I've, um, and I'll probably leave a link in the description. I've talked about chemtrails before and what we're really talking about is stratospheric aerosol injections cloud seeding solar radiation management these are the programs the the program names they actually go by um, if you talk if you say chemtrails or type that into Google you're likely to get something that's related to conspiracy theories uh, the government and NASA and a couple of other weather or organizations and um, conglomerates are putting together initiatives to try to block out the Sun as an initiative to uh, curb the side effects of global warming and you know in, in theory the idea is really genius right they spray a layer of highly reflective uh, material into the sky typically aluminum uh, to reflect the sun's light back uh, back at it rather than it being all the rays hitting earth and that's supposed to cool the earth um, supposedly it doesn't affect photosynthesis or anything like that and apparently what goes up doesn't come down and all of its all of its kosher and it's not going to harm humans yeah right you know what i mean this is the definition of the totalitarian agenda where they institute these campaigns these policies these programs and they say it's for the better good and you know who's going to fight against trying to curb the impacts of global warming right who's going to try to fight against something that's sustainable you know under those names nothing can be nefarious nothing can be sinister right and that's kind of what we're looking at uh, not only that but california has a great way to spin some of their uh, policies and legislations like the Sanctuary state policies, safe injection sites, and if you don't know what a safe, uh, safe injection site is, that's basically where you can go and shoot up your meth, heroin, whatever drugs you have, and they give you a clean needle out there in California so you don't spread disease. That's uh, one of the things they tout that it's supposed to do. Uh, funny enough, the used needles end up all over the sidewalks where children can walk by and you see them on the streets in California. You also see piles of feces out there as well. Uh, some of these places, most of the places is confined to areas like Sacramento, um, L.A., uh, San Diego, and San Francisco. But really, it's just starting to permeate everywhere out there uh, in that state. So I, I shout out to my, my wife for including this content here because there's a couple of ideas that go along with chemtrails, not just the geoengineering aspect, the, the weather manipulation, but there's a, there's a fair amount of people who believe chemtrails tie into um, Project Bluebeam and uh, geoengineering, not for... Uh, nefarious purposes or I, I guess not for political purposes essentially making the planet more inhabitable for extraterrestrial biological entities uh, I'm more of a person who believes in interdimensional you know non corporeal beings rather than uh, physical flesh and blood entities from planets far away I also adopt a different model of the cosmology than most people do but that's a different can of worms uh, project blue beam if you haven't heard of it I, I did do a video touching on it. it's not that great but essentially and this is you know not falsifiable there's no documents out on this there is no um, declassified information that you can look into this is, is pretty solidly speculation but when you when you look into what is being uh, explained in this project blue beam scenario we have the technology and and the capabilities to perform and essentially perform it and essentially what it is is using projectors or very sophisticated type of uh, projection technology where you can hear sounds and you can see extraordinary um, visuals and they use this or it's touted to be used as a deception where you can you know in in Christian countries you'll see Jesus and Eastern countries you might see Buddha and Indian Krishna you know where wherever your region is you will see your associated uh, godhead and uh, they have the capability with the uh, voice to skull technology to 
make it sound like that entity is talking to you. And something that's very interesting about the voice to skull technology is let's take a look at this um, article here. So this is just one example of the many tangential and anecdotal evidence that goes to show uh, gang stalking and voice to skull technology where people claim they are being attacked by directed energy weapons. This form of technology where they'll hear voices in their heads and I'm just going to go over this one piece of anecdotal evidence and there's many out there, there's many better YouTubers than myself who are covering things like gang stalking, voice to skull technology and direct energy weapons. Now, this is just um, absolutely golden. This happened in California, maybe you heard about it, but a gunman who killed California officer left notes saying he was hit by sonic waves. So I'm not going to read all of it, I'm going to read um, the part uh, that he where he said I'm gonna quote him here let's see if I can find it uh, right here it is Limbaugh I believe his name is is believed to have opened fire on Davis police officer Natalie Corona 22 without warning as she responded to a three vehicle traffic collision that was reported around 6 45 p.m. Thursday Limbaugh was not involved in the incident and the police chief said it appeared to be an ambush the typed letter released by police Saturday says the Davis police department has been hitting me with ultrasonic waves meant to keep dogs from barking he went on to say that he notified the press internal affairs and the FBI about it I am highly sensitive to its effects on my inner ear. I did my best to appease them, but they have continued for years and I can't have and I can't live this way anymore. Um, the letter reads, it is not signed, but typed at the bottom is Citizen Kevin Limbaugh. Now, I'm going to leave a link in the description for this article and you can make of it of what you will. I just think this is just, again, an interesting piece of tangential anecdotal evidence that adds to the credibility of voice to skull technology and directed energy weapons and if you know anything about directed energy weapons you know they can be used for anything from starting fires to um deterring large crowds so again this i think that a lot of the technologies they are multifaceted they don't only have one purpose so when we talk about chemtrails i think geoengineering is of course a, a big aspect of that i do think it could be loosely tied into the project blue beam you know spray a layer of a cloud into the sky and use it as a as a background as a projection screen i think the technology is a little more sophisticated where we won't need something like that so you know that's just a theory and i'm throwing that out there it's just interesting to think about these things and consider them uh, especially when you're thinking or talking about as uh, things like the new world order or the tyrannical tiptoe um I think I'm going to leave it there. I thought that this was interesting to share. Go ahead, like, and subscribe. And if you, like, if you do like it, share it with anyone you know. Um, California Carter, signing off.